Hey Warriors, welcome back to GTV for our 7th episode. I'm your host, Genesis Gallardo. And I'm Mick Watts. Our first segment is Random Interviews with David and Andy. Do you like pineapple on pizza? No. Of course. No. No. <laughs> yeah. Heck no. No. Yes. Dude, no, that's gross. Heck no. Heck no. <laughs> Those were some great random interviews. Next up, we have Comedy Corner with Michael. Hello. Welcome to Conspiracy Theories with Michael. Today, we will be going over some very important information, which may affect every person watching. Let's begin from the beginning. I assume all of you are familiar with Nicolas Cage, correct? Nicolas Cage starred in the Ghost Rider movie. Ghost. Ghosts are very spooky. Would you like to know what else is spooky? Velociraptors. Raptors are too spooky. Does this mean that Nicolas Cage is training Velociraptors? Maybe. Velociraptors have two eyes. Nicolas Cage also has two eyes. Coincidence? I think not. Eyes are round. To calculate the area of something round, you need pi. To calculate the area of an apple pie, you need pi. Nicolas Cage probably likes pi, and so would Velociraptors if they were still alive. Nicolas Cage. Nick. Nickelback. Nickelback is a band. Nicolas Cage might like Nickelback. Toto is also a band. This means Nicolas Cage likes two bands. Two. Nicolas Cage likes two bands and has two eyes? This conspiracy is getting too spooky. Just like the Ghost Rider movie. Nicolas Cage loves listening to Toto. Toto performed the song Africa. Uganda is an African country. Uganda. Ugandan knuckles are in Uganda. Would you like to know what else were native to Uganda? Velociraptors. Yes, it's all coming together now. Apple pie can be cut into three pieces. That's a number in pie. Three. Triangles have three sides. Would you like to know what else has three sides? The Illuminati symbol. But wait, there's more. George Washington could not cut down an apple tree. Or was it a cherry tree? Apple, cherry, apple, cherry, apple, apple. Yep, I'm going with apple. George Washington liked apple pie too much to cut down an apple tree. George Washington and Nicolas Cage both like apple pie. George Washington looks exactly like Nicolas Cage with a wig. Nicolas Cage is an immortal alien and the leader of the Illuminati who is also George Washington and is training a genetically engineered velociraptor army in the heart of Uganda while listening to Nickelback and eating apple pie and feeding apple pie to the velociraptors to make them bulletproof. There. Now I have finally exposed them for what they are. Now what are they going to What a funny video. Next up we have Guess Who with Avery and Trevor. What teacher is new to Gall High School and graduated from Reno State University? A. Mr. Bot. B. Mr. Jonas. C. Mr. Bauer or D. Miss Titus. Math's a very important subject, and 
we got some really great students here. What I want to do is I want to take the mathematics and hopefully connect that with what they want to do in future. <clears throat> whatever, it, whatever it happens to be, engineering, medicine, or you know, if it has to do with some kind of technical field, or even you know, if they want to go into business. Math can connect with any of that. So what we're doing and what's helping with CPM is that you're using all this math concept in your life role. You can see in my classroom, you know, there are a lot of projects where they use, you know, quadratic functions, exponential fun functions. Uh, now we're working on trigonometric functions. So they use those functions and see how they can um, connect with real life and how they can solve real life problems and hopefully they can take that information, apply it to their prospect of future jobs. Uh, uh, hopefully they can connect that with whatever the higher level of learning they'll go through in college. And I'm hoping that I can help them achieve that successfully. Uh, what is your favorite food? Uh, depends on my health. If I'm not feeling well, I eat pho like today. <laughs> but. Um, I love um, I love Hispanic food. You know, uh, my favorite um, breakfast is Huevos Ranchers, and I love Indian food too. One of my favorite is um, no one's gonna know this, but Shrikan and Kaja Puri. <laughs> yeah. And uh, what college did you attend? Uh, I went to UNR, University of Nevada, Reno. It's in next state, Nevada. Um, I went there. And what is your biggest fear? <sighs> biggest fear it's too old for being afraid but I guess I'm a new father so uh, my biggest fear is always something to relate with my daughter uh, sometimes it's her health sometimes you know is she is she doing what she's supposed to at the right you know developmental stage so it's just not it's just connected with her Thank you very much. All right. Thank you. Did you guess the teacher right? Our last segment is soccer with JV and varsity with David and Trevor. I'm Jose Cruz, played for the Gulf High JV soccer team. I play winger and forward. We just played Oakdale, took the dub, 3-0. And uh, what happened during the game? Oh, uh, you know, uh, we played good. They didn't have no no touch, no nothing. You know, we, we possessed the game the whole time. We got the three goals, as you can see, took the dub. Hello, my name is Brian Cortez, and I play for the Gulf Boys JV soccer team. And tell us, uh, what team did you play against, and how did it go for you? We played against Oakdale, and I mean, it went great. We won 3-0. We got that bread, just like we promised. Uh, any additional information you want to add? That'd be it. Go, go high.
My name is Sebastian Baez and I play for Gaw High Boys JV soccer team and I'm a right mid for the soccer team. Tell us, uh, who was the team that you played against and what was the score? We played Oakdale and we won 3-0 just like we expected. Hello, Steve Duncan, head coach, boys JV soccer team. And tell us, uh, who's the team that you played against? Uh, played Oakdale. Oakdale, today was their first uh, home game. Uh, boys played well, uh, ended up with a 3-0 uh, win. Um, overall, first half was good, second half a little dry, fell a little flat, so things to work on, but overall, good start. And how do you feel about the future uh, success within the team? Future, uh, these guys have a longevity. Uh, a lot of them are freshmen, there's only four sophomores, so a lot of them are going to be here for the next four years. Strong JV team now, and so I see a strong JV now moving into varsity in the future, so good tradition keeps going. and I play goalkeeper for the varsity soccer team. And uh, what did you play against? How did it go for you? Uh, we played the Oakdale Mustangs today and it was a really good game for all of us. Uh, we came out and played what we know how to play and do the things that, we, that we've that we learned our practice and implement them here in the game and and we came out successful tonight, 6-0. How do you feel that success would go on in the future? Uh, you know, we just got to keep putting in work. That's the, that's the main priority right now. Obviously, we got a lot of things to work on. We're not perfect. And we hope to, you know, keep winning and keep representing the school to the best of our abilities. Thank you for watching, Warriors. Have a great day.